Hello, this is Ga7, and I'm back, and I figured out which instrument should go where. And now let's look at this. Slap bass, they have two slap bases, and in order to move this, click this right here. Hold Alt and press the arrow keys, at least for Windows computers. Then after slap bass, they have um, xylophone. So I have my xylophone right here. So I'm just going to move it up. Then they have the two acoustic guitars. Then piano, then slap bass. And after that, should have all the instruments. Now, here's the thing. You may not like how some sound or like some may not fit at all like this one so what you can do is just turn the volume all the way down however that once again volume will reset so once you can just go to channel volume and then like earlier there would be the controller there and you would delete it but the same way I delete the controllers now we're going to name them the same you can just hit Rename, Control C. I don't know whether or not this is necessary, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Now Control C these names. Once again, this song has seven tracks, so it's important that you have seven pet tracks on here, no matter what. And only the same amount of instruments per track. You kind of have to figure that out. You can always, if there's two tracks with the same instruments, you can always copy notes to one and just delete the other. Like, I had to delete a track here. But what did I? But all I did was copy its notes to another track because it wasn't really that used. Just double check to make sure they're all different names. Make sure you did it right. Now the final step is moving the channel. Since we re rearranged them, the channels will be messed up. So just go ahead and. Make sure the channels are in the proper order. Did I do that right? Yes, I did. Channel 6 and channel 7. Now let's just check if that, everything is working. Okay, everything seems to be working. I'm just going to save this project just in case we need to make any more FL Studio based edits. I'm going to save it as a project, although you can just open the MIDI. Of course, if you have the free version, you can't do this, but it's okay. Just open the MIDI and the DLL file, and we'll get the MIDI from this in a second here. I'll call this Wasteland because the name of this song is Wintry Wasteland. This song is for Super Mario 64 DS, Shining, Shining Stars DS, and I'm it's a hack I'm working on. But once that's done, go to File, Export, MIDI File, and now let me go to the folder for our tutorial. I'm going to call it Wasteland MID. Hit Start. And after it does that, you're good to go. Now, you can just close out of it. And close out of this NCS BGM thing. You don't need it. So, <clears throat> once that's all taken care of, you want to go to the tool pack and open Anvil Studio. You could use, if you have it installed, you could just use that one. That's Hydro Fire, song from earlier. 
is something I was doing earlier today. Now, Open Wasteland, or whatever you named it, I named it Wasteland, and you'll see that there's this one channel that just magically appeared. Just delete that and you'll be fine. Okay, now in order to prevent, I'm going to make a quick backup of this just in case anything happens. I'm going to call this Wasteland Original and in case we mess up in the editing. Now this song, it will play a little quiet here. I'm going to leave the bass the same because... I don't want him to be loud because this song was originally not supposed to have a bass. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And this is 67. I'm going to move it to like 77. And this is 33. I'll move it to like 43 or 44. 33. Same here. Now I'm going to move this up an extra two or three. Now this will be 87. So I move that up three. Now I'll go to 77. And since I move that up three, I'll move that up that much. You have to be careful a little here. You can lose your place easily as you can see. And that should be good. Now I'm going to do a quick look at FL Studio and see if it sounds good with these changes. Because if not, that's not going to. When I import the music, I'll be a little disappointed because I messed up on the sound volumes. Now like earlier, what you want to do is find Fruity LSD. And we're going to reload that DLL. Sounds good. This is a little too high, though. Now, this tempo is 107. Now, we're going to export MID or MAT0 file as Wasteland. MID and replace and then you want open that wasteland file three four five six seven okay as all this. and you see the tempo changed you're going to want to change that to 107 and hit file Save song. And once it's saved, you can go, uh, sorry about that. I need to take care of something. Mm, and yeah, you want to go save. But now it's time. Here's where things get interesting. I kind of forgot do something real quick you want to go to view composer you want to go to edit enter mid event but first we need to find the end of our song one alligator okay and right there after the song ends count out one alligator
and then you want to hit insert a MIDI event. Although I accidentally insert an event. Did I do it again? Yeah, I did. Accidentally did it again. Yeah, make sure you cancel out those things if you don't want it. But basically, after one sec, you want to pause it one second after it stops. One alligator. Stop. Edit. Is there MID event? Make sure both of those are checked. Then hit marker. We're going to want to type in here loop end. Just like that. Make sure it looks exactly like that. Caps and all. Okay. And for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to have the loop start right here. And basically, you would stop it one second after you want the loop to start. And you just do loop start. And hit OK. Now what these are for, these are to make sure the track actually loops. Then you want export MID file 0, wasteland.mid, yes replace it. Then open that wasteland.mid, remember our tempo? No. Okay, it's sounding good, so hit save song. And now we should have our Wasteland MID. Now let's make a new folder. Let's call it conversion or whatever. Now let's go into tool pack. You're going to copy these three files. Then you want to right click this, hit edit, and then we're going to name this to Wasteland because the name of our file is called Wasteland. Let's call it Wasteland.scq. Let's hit save and if it says warning the tempo is too fast, ignore it. But now we have our SSEQ file. Now, let me just once again do a quick FL Studio check to make sure we're doing things correctly. So far, the tempo is correct. That's good. Everything sounds like it should. Now we have our SSEQ here. Obviously, I was just listening to Wasteland.mid file, but this is what we need because this is a file. It's kind of like the MIDI that your DS can read. Now, in the tool pack, go into sound data, sequence then we'll find that I'm replacing Snow 2, so let me just copy the name of that here. Then let me find my wasteland.sseq, and we're going to want to copy that over to the tool pack, sound data, sequence, 
and replace the file. Don't be afraid. If you need another one, you can just extract another tool pack. And then click double click the editor.exe. Now let me open uh no, you don't need to do that, sorry. You want to go to tools, make SDAP file, click that button right there. And navigate to in the tool back this folder right here, the one that contains all these. Make sure you don't rename those four files or folders ever. Because it kind of needs those. Then, if it worked, we should have an sound data to SDAP. Now you can go, let's do a quick test. It's important to do test the wrong long to way to make sure everything is going correctly. And navigate to the sound data to SDAT. Even though you may think that it won't work, VGM Trans will load it. Just to test to make sure all other ones work. Let me just do a quick test. Okay, now let's see if our one works. Yeah, we may need to make slight changes to it to make it sound a little better, but we're just going to go if it works here. Now, it's time for the final step. Go to Super Mario 64 DSE. And let's go to the ROM that we're going to use. In this case, it's going to be this. Now... Now this is optional, but I'm just going to make it so I can quickly go to Cool Cool Mountain, whose music I'm replacing. So I'm just going to set the exit here to go to Cool Cool Mountain. Yeah, I just put this giant painting here, because why not? It's just a quick and fun way to test levels. Then I'm going to save it and X out that. Now in the ROM file system here, you're going to want to click that button, that button, you see this, you replace raw, and you're going to find the sound data.sdat and hit open, you're, you know it works when it says nothing, you know you'd expect a message, but no it doesn't really say anything, so just go with it. Once again you can check with VGM trans. But well, let's go directly into DS, 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 mu, me. I don't really know how to pronounce it. But anyways, go into. It's in my tutorial folder. Oh, here we are. And if all went well, it should work. Might need to hire my microphone so you can hear it better. Mario. And let's see if it works. And I hear the music in the background, so it sounds like it worked. And that's it. That's it. If you did the loops correctly, it should loop itself. And uh, that's how you make your own custom music. The end.